say you hear it, uh -huh. you better you better make sure you are hearing for real. Yes. Because if you hear it, then you understand. And if you understand, then you're going to walk it out. That's it. God is not revealing it to a natural man because a natural man cannot receive it. Amen. Are you hearing me? Yes. And you sit there and take the time out and try to make them understand. You barely understand. <laughs> okay. That's true. That's true. Are you hearing me? Yes, yes ma'am. Go to Mark chapter 4. Let's let scripture talk. How, what did you hear? Hmm. It's supernatural. In 2017, we don't have time for things to sneak up on us. That's right. oh, Lord. We don't have time. We need to hear it before we get there. That's it. That's it so when the conversation starts happening. Mm -hmm. Okay. Brilliant. Mark is calling us. Mark. Mark chapter 4 is calling us. You in there. Mark chapter 4. Mark chapter 4. Oh, and run to verse... Mm, 24. Run to verse 24. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. And he said unto them, Who is he? Jesus. Mm -hmm. Take heed. That means he, he's sending out a warning. Are y'all hearing me? Yes, Take heed. That means a warning. Take heed what you hear. Right. Take heed of what you hear. With what measure or estimate. Okay. What measure you met. That's an estimate. Okay. Are you hearing me? Yes. It shall be measured to you. Did y'all hear that? Yes, uh -huh. So whatever you hearing is supposed to be in a measurement. Measure. Uh -huh. And what you hearing in the measurement or the estimate of. Uh -huh. Because if you go and you look for a house to buy a house, they're going to give you what? The yeah, estimate. estimate. Yes. Mm -hmm. They can tell you the square footage uh -huh. of the house. Right. And tell you the best parts <laughs> of the house. But now they're going to give you an estimate of the house, which means, watch this, prophet experiment, that when the square footage of the house, the Lord have mercy, they have to estimate, the, watch this, the, the, the purchase of the house according to the measurement of the square feet. Yeah. <laughs> yes, mother. All right, all right. That's why you can go and, and, and rent a house, watch this. And it's, it's, it's 2,000 square feet. Well, you already know you're going to pay over $2,000 for that house every month. Because right. it's measurement. Right. That's it. That's it. You may not understand. How did y'all come up with this That's amount? It. But it's the measurement. Mm -hmm. That's it's it. the estimate. That's it. And so you and I have to be careful and quit hollering we hearing when we're not hearing. Because evidently, the measurement that we're hearing, it said it shall be met. That's it. Which means... It ain't coming to pass. All right, it's scripture. Watch this. It shall be measured to you, and you that hear shall more be given. So how can you not be given more if you say you hear it? Yes, that's it. It says it right there. Right. So how are you not being given more by God if you said you heard? For he had, verse 25, for he had, to him shall be given, and he have not from him shall be taken. Well, there you go. Because a lot of folks that say they hearing, not hearing, that God got to take from them and give it to the person that is hearing in the realm of the spirit. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Are you hearing the yes. Lord? Or yes. did you go home? Oh, no, it's yeah. scripture. No. Take it up with Jesus. That's it. He said, I'll take from you. Uh -huh. So what you believe in God for, what you waiting on God for, uh -huh. if you don't hear it in that measurement in the rim of the spirit of your ear, uh -huh. then he has to take it from you and give it to the person that is hearing in the rim of the spirit. Come on now. Y'all not saying nothing. Come on but now. But he got respect to person. No, because he's given us all the opportunity to do what he's telling us to do. That's it, that's, that's it, funny. that's it. Are you hearing me? Yes. But we too busy trying to hold on to stuff. Don't want to let go. And don't realize everything has a sound. Y'all, y'all making me jump too quick. Go ahead, mother. Okay. Come on, apostle. Everything has a sound we too. We with you, we with you. Look at y'all trying to, I think, how she not think I think. Everything has a sound. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't hearing. I ain't. Stop all that telling that story. Let me tell you something. You just hearing it later. You That's just true. hearing it later. That's true. But the sound was already made. That's it. Scripture, here we go. 
The Bible said God is talking to Moses. They up in the mountains talking. They up in the mountains talking. He's giving Moses the instruction. Watch this. Here go the children of Israel down there acting. Do not want to obey God. The teaching that they got, they didn't want to do the teaching that they got. The Lord stops the conversation with Moses and said, I hear. I hear a sound. And this sound don't sound right. So get up from here, Moses, because our conversation has stopped. Because I just heard a sound. And it's coming from the camp. And it's not the right sound. Are you hearing me? So Moses gets up, leave God, go down there, and guess what they did? They done built a calf. <laughs> okay. So the calf and what they were doing was, was, was sounding out a sound. It was not the sound of praising and worshiping God. It was not the sound, glory to God, of being gra grateful for God. Okay, okay. So when okay. we do not obey okay. God, yeah. it releases okay. a sound. Are you hearing me? When we don't obey God, it releases a sound. Come on here. All right now. Are y'all okay out there? We cool. Are y'all okay out there? Yes, ma'am. That sound came up. That sound came up because God heard it. Are you hearing me? My God from Zion. My God from Zion. My God from Zion. My God. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Go to Romans. Go to Romans. Go to Romans 10. Because he said, what measure you hear, you're going to be given more. Uh -huh. Are y'all hearing me on Facebook yes, Live? Yes, ma'am. And what yes, measure you're not, the <coughs> measure you're not hearing in, God said he's going to take it from you mm -hmm. and give it to the one that is hearing from the rim of the spirit. Mm -hmm. So 2017, you ain't got time to play. That's it. That's it. And you ain't got time to be calling everything a devil. That's it. Because okay. everything is not the devil. Can you say that? Can you he say does that? play his part, but he ain't playing all the way through your life. Are you hearing me? Yes, it's yes. telling you. All right, you ain't hearing me. You ain't doing what I'm telling you to do. You ain't asking me to open up your ears because you don't have no understanding. I'm going to take what I was going to give you, and I'm going to give it to a person that is hearing me in the realm of the spirit. Come on and now. please, please do not be carnal, and please don't be elementary with it. Go ahead, mother. Please don't be elementary with it. Well, see, girl, you disobey God, so now it comes to me. See, that's elementary. Go ahead, mother. That's because it, you just, you just discerned and understood it on your own yeah. mind, and your own thought. Surely that couldn't be God. Right? That's it, apostle. Man. Can you stay right there? Are you hearing me? Yes. <laughs> It'll make you go to God and say, God, okay, what's going on? Mm -hmm. On both parts. God, what's going on? Yeah. Right. Are you hearing me? Mm -hmm. But the scripture already told us in 2017, ain't, y'all heard what I said, A-I-N-T, ain't, ain't nobody getting my stuff. Come on, mother. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody getting, getting my, my stuff. Because I'm going to be hearing and I'm going to be obeying. Because when I hear, I must understand. When I understand, I have received. And when I have received, it shall manifest. Come on now. And I'm not going to be sitting in no church and I'm not going to be studying my word talking about I hear God. I hear you, Lord. I hear you. Ooh, I hear you, Lord. Lifting your hands. I hear you, Lord. Running around the church. I hear you, Lord. But he got to turn around and take it from you because you're not hearing the measurement. The measurement. Oh, come on to Romans. Come on to Romans. Okay. Come on to Romans. Come on. Hit Romans chapter 10. Come on. Hit Romans chapter 10. Hit Romans. Chapter 10, verse 17. Very familiar passage of scripture. So then faith coming by hearing. And he's going to give you a measurement of faith for to believe God for that circumstance. Are you hearing me? So then faith coming by hearing. 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 So then faith got ears. And faith has a measurement to it. Yeah. And hearing by the word of God. Mm -hmm. So the only way we know that we're going to get out of that circumstance is by the word of God. Now, we got to tap into the rim because it's not where everybody can understand it and everybody can get it. Why? Because that's why Jesus taught in parables. Yes, yes. Are you hearing me? Yes, yes man. So faith comes by hearing. Yes. And hearing by the word of God. And when faith comes, it comes in a measurement. Yes. Because you got to believe God for that situation. Right. That he's going to what? Deliver you. So it must be a measurement of faith on that. Mm -hmm. 
Are you hearing me? Yeah. And so we need to make sure that we have ears to hear. Because if not, Mark already told us, take heed. Mm -hmm. Take heed now. That's a warning. That's a warning clause. Mm -hmm. Take heed. Because this year, if you don't hear God, mm -hmm. I'm going to take it from you. Wow. Oh, I saw, I saw, I saw. Okay, you can see it. But you ain't hearing it. Right. So I'm going to take it. Right. And I'm going to give it to the other one. That is what? Hearing. Hearing. All right, heads up. Everybody on the same playing field. We all on the same playing field. Are you hearing me? Yes. And God is getting ready to blow the gun. And everybody's going to take off. Are you hearing me? Now you do what you want. You can see him pretend that you're hearing God. Are you hearing me? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Because I'm telling you, scripture right here. All right, precious ones. Ears can't, watch this. Ears cannot hear, and that means it cannot comprehend, it cannot take it to heart, nor will it take heed. Mm -hmm. You see that? Nor will it take heed. Oh, I got time to I got time to get it right. I got time. God, you know, He know my heart. Y'all know that's what we say. Yeah. He know my heart. You know, He know my heart. That's why I keep messing up. He know my heart. But yet you still want God to give you some bless you, deliver you, heal you. Make a way out of, out of nowhere, which he wants to. He said, but if you don't hear me in this time, in this season of your life, I'm going to take it from you and I'm going to give it to somebody else that is hearing me. Right. Are you hearing me? Yeah. And then you go back to the beginning of the teaching that I taught and begin to let you know that Eli told Samuel, okay, the voice you heard, go back and lay down, but this time don't get up, come running to me. Ooh. Are you hearing me? Because I just, I just graded you. Your spirit, your capacity of your spirit can handle it because you obey your leader. Are you hearing me? Yes. Amen. So watch this. If one cannot hear, one cannot yeah. repent. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we just do it because it's been said for us to do it. Right. So if one cannot hear, one cannot repent, prophetess. Watch this. Cannot repent to be healed. Why? Because they could not hear. I heard God say he was going to heal me. Okay. <laughs> Until God restores one's hearing. Yes, yes. God must restore yes. one's hearing. Yes. I hear it. I, I wouldn't even want to play with it. My, 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 my older pastor, glory to God, when I was in Illinois, he, he would say, I'd rather have insurance. I'd rather have it and not need it to need it and don't have it. Are you hearing me? So what are you saying? I'd rather go ahead and ask God to open up my ears. Are you hearing me? So I know that my ears are open. Instead of sitting here talking about, yeah, I hear. Because I realize scripture is telling me. 2017, it's yours. But it's up under these principles. And if you don't hear, it don't matter what you saw. I'm going to give it to somebody else that's hearing. So I don't want to play with that. I don't want to play with that this year. So I'm going to say, God, have mercy on me. Open my ears. Go to Genesis chapter 1, beloved. Go to Genesis chapter 1, beloved. Go to Genesis chapter 1. Go to Genesis chapter 1. Everything is not the devil. Everything is not the devil. And everything is not warfare. Can you stay right there? Yeah. Go to Genesis chapter 1. We just need some understanding about the realm of the spirit. We need some understanding about the kingdom of God. It's supernatural. We're supposed to look at what we cannot see. We're too busy looking at what we can see and bringing an opinion to that and bringing a finalization to that. Are you hearing me? Yes. Genesis chapter 1, precious 1, verse 28 is where I'm going. Genesis chapter 1, verse 28, everybody that's Ooh. in here. And God, uh, let's go to verse 27. So God created man in his own image. And in the image of God created he, him, male and female. So he created us how? As what? Spiritual Spirit beings. Being. Okay, God created us how? Spiritual <coughs> beings. All right. And God blessed them. And God said unto them, what part of God was blessing? He was blessing the spiritual part of us. Right. right. Your flesh is not supposed to be fruitful. Amen. Your flesh is not supposed to be uh, multiplied. Your flesh is not going to replenish the earth. This part right here, he is blessing the spirit man. 
Are y'all hearing me? Yes. He's not. See, I'm. I would call y'all call this mocha, coke, caramel. My skin is mocha caramel. Yes. <laughs> mocha caramel. <laughs> You know, no, either one they saying he was not blessing this mocha caramel. <laughs> he wasn't telling this mocha caramel to be fruitful. Yeah. He was not telling this mocha caramel to replenish the earth. Yeah. He was not telling this mocha caramel. You know, here it is. He was talking to the spiritual being. He was prophesying and blessing the spiritual being of us. Watch this. And God blessed them, and God said unto them, which means when God said unto them, because he made man in his what? Own yeah, image and likeness, and began, then he began to do what? Talk to them, which means they can hear. Because he said, and God said, he began to talk to them, and they can hear. Watch this. And God blessed them, and God said unto them, be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it. And have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the uh, uh, fowl of the air and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. The Lord was talking. Mm -hmm. yes. And Adam and Eve that was in Adam uh -huh. was hearing yes. what he said. Yes. Wow. Spiritual being. Yes. Okay, precious ones. Yes. Wow. All right, we ain't done. Go to chapter 3. Wow. Go to chapter 3, verse 18. Chapter 3, verse 18. Uh-huh. Go to verse 17. And unto Adam, he said, because thou hast hearkened. Can y'all take off the E-N-E-D? Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, take off the K-E-N-E-D. Yeah. And what does that word spell? Here. 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 Come on now. Here. Yeah. And unto Adam, he said, because thou was hearing. You heard another voice, but you were okay when you and I was talking. Uh -huh. But you hearken. But if you take out K E N E D, it's talking about here. Yeah. But you hearken, which means you listen. Yeah. Are you hearing me? Yeah. Unto the voice of your wife, uh -huh. and has eaten of the tree of which I commanded thee. I commanded thee. That means he said, I told you. Me and you were talking. You heard me. Yes, yes, yes. yes. I commanded you. I was talking to you. I was talking to your spirit. Wow. You heard me in your spirit. Mm -hmm. But you end up turning around and hearkening to a lesser vessel. A lesser situation. Mm -hmm. Because wife represents as well as a lesser situation. Yes, the storm. The problem. Yes. The no. Yes. Yes. The rejection. The yes. misunderstood. Yes. That's the lesser one. You was listening to that. Yes. But I commanded you. I was talking to your spirit. And you told me, you heard me. And I know you heard me because we had dialect going on. Mm -hmm. We had conversation going on. Yes. But when yes. I start, Lord have mercy. Go ahead, Mother. Let me go back a little bit. Let me go back a little bit. Oh, Lord. Mm. He says, He says, the day that y'all eat of this, your eyes are going to be open. That means. The Lord was talking to Adam. The day y'all eat of this, your eyes are going to be open. Uh -huh. Are you hearing me? Uh -huh. Which means that goes from last week teaching. So he was hearing. Are you hearing me? Uh huh. My God from Zion. And then there's the part where God was walking to Adam in the cool of the day. Uh -huh. That means Adam was hearing God. Uh -huh. He was hearing God because God had already began to talk to him. But when they got done talking, God shut off the voice that Adam couldn't hear him no more hmm. because the Lord had to curse him. He caused his ground to be cursed. And then the separation of relationship and fellowship, he could not hear God anymore. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Y'all going to be all right. Did you see that? Did you see that, beloved? Did you see that, beloved? He said, because you hearken, mm -hmm. because you hearken, and then come on, connect that back to Mark. Mm -hmm. What I was going to give you, because he did give him something, you just lost it. Yeah. And I'm going to give it to somebody that's listening, yeah. wow. that's hearing me, and the rim of the spirit, that understand, that has received it. Are you hearing me? Yes. Glory to his wonderful name. 
Now, go to Exodus 3. Are y'all okay out there? Are y'all okay yes, out there? Yes, Are you okay out there? God came walking in the cool of the day. God came walking in the cool of the day. It said, Adam, where you at? Yep. That means Adam can hear yes, God yes, real clear. Yep. Right. There was no, there was no mediator. Right. That's it. That's it. That's it. Are you hearing me? Yes. That's it. That's it. And then when God, when, 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 when Adam began to respond to God and began to talk the way he was talking, God said, what you just do? Yeah. 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 So watch this. The, it, the eyes were shut. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. The eyes shut first. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes. And then, after the eyes were shut in the spiritual realm, after God got done talking to Adam, he shut his ears. So he no longer could hear God. Because why? Because he hearkened to the lesser one. He hearkened to the storm. He hearkened to the dead. He hearkened to the problem. He hearkened, are you hearing me? Yes. To the firing. That, but that was good right there. He hearkened. Okay. Everybody go to Exodus. Go to Exodus. But the Lord going to open your ears. He's going to open your ears because you got to hear. Because in this, this, this year, you got to get what God is saying that he's going to give you. You're not going to get it if you can't hear. Amen. And guess what? You can see all day long. That's but if it. you ain't hearing, you're not receiving. And if you're not receiving, you're not literally understanding what God is saying. But because you done built your mind up that you do hear him and that you do understand, you walk in sloop footed or pigeon toe instead of walking in a straight and narrow path. A few more minutes, Exodus. Exodus 3. Exodus 3. Exodus 3. Exodus 3. Exodus 3. Exodus 3, precious one. Exodus 3 and Ooh. verse 1 is where we're going tonight. All right. What did you hear? What did you hear? What did you hear? What did you hear? Mm -hmm. The year of divine awakening. What did you hear? Because you got eyes to see, but you can't see. You got ears to hear, but you can't hear. Come on now. And it can't enter into your heart because you don't understand. Mm -hmm. Exodus chapter 3, precious 1 and verse 1. Mm -hmm. Now Moses kept the flock of Jethro, his father-in-law, the priest of the Median. And he led the flock to the backside of the desert yeah. and came to the mountain of God, even to Hara. Verse 2. And the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in the flame of fire out of the midst of a bush. And he looked and behold, and he looked and behold. The word behold means insight. He looked and behold, the bush burnt with fire and the bush was not consumed. Hmm. And Moses said, I will now turn aside and see this great sight while the bush is not burnt. And when the Lord saw that he turned and aside to see, yes. God called unto him out of the midst of the bush. Let's stop right there. Here is revelation. God calls Moses. Uh -huh. Are you hearing me? Mm -hmm. Moses is seeing something up at the Mount of God. Yes. It draws him to the Mount of God. Yes. He goes up there. Are you hearing me? Uh -huh. He sees a bush because uh -huh. his eyes is about to be opened. Yes. He sees a bush. The bush is on fire, which is symbolic of the Holy Spirit. Yes. Are you hearing the fire of the Holy Ghost? Right. All right. He sees the bush. The bush is on fire, but it's not being consumed. Mm -hmm. It got his attention. God didn't speak to him yet. God did not speak to him yet. We are not out of order. We are on time. God is taking us step by step yes. because before you can hear, you got to be able to see. Because in order to see what you see, it got to get your attention in the realm of the spirit. Because God did not speak to Moses just because he saw the bush. Okay, come on, come on, come on. He began to speak to Moses. The Bible said, verse 4, when the Lord saw that he turned aside to see. When the Lord saw that the bush that was on fire was not being consumed. Because Moses said, sights, 
this bush on fire, but here's the insight. It's not being consumed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Being on fire was not the insight. Yes. Right. The bush being on fire was not insight. Yes. But it being not consumed was the insight. Yes. When God saw that he had insight of seeing yes. and it got his attention. Are you hearing me? Mm -hmm. So a lot of people God ain't talking to yes, because yes. God don't have their attention uh -huh. in the rim of the spirit and insight. He's not talking before you have my God's sight. You want God to talk to you when what God wants to make sure got your attention in the rim of the spirit. God will not talk first. It's right here. He said, and verse four, and when the Lord saw that he turned aside to see, mm -hmm. God called. Here's God now talking to Moses. God called on, unto him out of the midst of the bush and said, Moses, Moses. And what did Moses say? I, I hear you. Here I am I. Here, Here am, I. am I. Here am I. So guess what? God is not talking to a lot of people. Yes, mother. God is not talking to a lot of people because God does not have their attention in the realm of the spirit. We too busy trying to act like we theologists people. We on top of this. We on top of that. And we can't even see. Y'all not saying Go nothing. Y'all not saying nothing. Come on, Apostle. And because we can hear, eh, eh, going to do that if you got to do that. Because I'll I get all, woo, woo, and I start rearing up. But don't let that be as if you can see in the realm of the Spirit. Because if you can't see and you can't pay attention to what God is trying to show you, He ain't talking to you. Right. That's right, Listen. Then He says, He says, He says to him, because you want to hear first. When I need to know you paying attention that you can see, because I'm going to open your eyes. He opened his eyes. Mm. He said, when, God said, when I saw mm. that the burning bush that was not being consumed got his attention, yeah. yes, Lord. then he started talking. Yeah. God opened his open ears. His and you can see that he, his ears was open because Moses replied and said, here yeah. am yeah. I. Yes, Lord Jesus. Then the Lord said, take your shoes off. Because mm -hmm. I'm getting ready to give you your new assignment. Jesus. Take your shoes off. Because I'm going to give you your new assignment. Because you can hear. Come on, Mother. Because if you don't see what I'm trying to show you. And it don't have your attention. Then I cannot speak to you on it. You want, Yes, Lord Jesus. You want me to speak on your sickness. Yes, Lord. You want me to speak on your sickness. But God said, I'm trying to get your attention about something else. Are you hearing me? Oh, my God. Yeah, God got his, got his attention. He gets your attention first. And he makes sure that what he, God, puts. Because, watch this. It was symbolic of the Holy Ghost. And the Holy Ghost is a spirit. Yes. So this was spiritual. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't about the tree on fire. Right. Mm -hmm. that, didn't, that didn't shock him. Mm -mm. Okay. The tree being on fire did not shock him. What shocked him was the tree was burning, but it was still being a tree in the same form that it was while the tree was on fire. That's, That's what shocked him. That's it. Did you hear me? Yes. Amen. God opened his eyes. When God opened his eyes and God knew, once God knew by him opening up his eyes and that it got his attention, he knew now I can open his ears. Yes. Wow. Okay. Because God was getting ready to talk about what had his attention. Yes. Okay. Okay. Take your shoes off because this ain't got nothing to do with the earthly realm. Yes. This don't have nothing to do with carnality. Yes. This has nothing to do with the physical. Take your shoes off. Because you're standing on holy ground. Are you hearing me? You're in a dimension. And you cannot say, God, I want it this way, that way. I want to do it like this. No, no, no. No, no, no. And no. Yes. You're not. God is not going to talk to you until he has your, your attention in a certain situation that your eyes cannot comprehend. Your ears on your side of your face cannot comprehend. Yes. 
Are you hearing me? Yes. His eyes, natural eyes, saw the tree burning. Are you hearing me? Mm -hmm. God didn't start talking to him then. Right. He started talking to him when his eyes began to go into the dimension of the inside. Because yes. he turned to see. Mm -hmm. And it got his attention. And he kept his eyes on it and said, what the world? This thing is burning. But the form of the tree is not changing. Right. God said, I got his attention. Ooh, God. We get ready to have a conversation now. We getting ready to com communicate now. We getting ready to have a true relationship now. Because a lot of us want to want to go and talk to God about what we want to talk about. But God said, I don't want to talk about that. Let yeah. me show you something. Yeah. I want to know what I'm about to reveal to you already has your attention. Yeah. Yeah. Is anybody listening or did everybody go home? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Verse 5. Verse 5. And he said, draw not nigh hither. Put off your shoes from off your feet. There's a conversation right there. Yeah. God did not start talking to Moses until after. God ain't talking to you because you got a prophetic. I, 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 I say I can prophesy. Okay. All right. You don't even know what time it is. The children of Issachar knew the times and the season of what should be done. Right. Come on, somebody. So don't get caught up in your prophecy. Come on now. Are you hearing me? Yes, ma'am. Get caught up. Yes, in you and God, yes. you can see yes, in the rim of the spirit. Come and on, that not only that you can see, but your eyes is on that that God got his eyes on. Mm -hmm. Come on, Apostle. Y'all not saying nothing. Amen. Come on. God got his eyes on this basket. Sample, an example, okay? God got his eyes on this basket. You got your eyes over here. And guess yeah. what? You want God to talk to you about something, your eyes is over here. And God's eyes is on the basket. Come on now. And guess what? And God done already bypassed the basket, but it did not catch your attention. Mm. Because your attention is up on the situation. And you want God to talk to you about that. And God said, I'm not going to talk to you about that. I got this basket. Soon as, it, as soon as this basket gets your attention, mm -hmm. then me and you get ready to talk. Yeah. Then I'm getting ready to give you some insight. Mm. Then I'm going to reveal some hidden secrets to you. Mm. Jesus. What did you hear? What did you hear? All right. I'm closing. Go to First Kings, precious. God not talking to you if he don't have your attention and what he's showing you. That's why you can have whatsoever you see. Because guess what? God is going to do what? Put it before you. He's going to put it in your spirit. He's going to put it in your spirit. Huh? The Bible said if we delight ourselves in the Lord, he would do what? Give us the desires of our heart. Watch this. We don't know what to desire in the things of God. So God has to do what? Put it in our spirit for us to what? Desire, desire it. <laughs> if, if we came from the projects, hello. Why and how can I desire something better when my whole surrounding is poverty? That's it. So the Lord has to come into my life and take me out of the projects. Are you hearing me? Yes. And allow me to go ride in the suburbs. And to look and get a desire for that and put me back in the projects. And now I'm saying I'm out of here. Because I saw something different than what I usually saw. Are y'all getting this? Yes, Come on, y'all. Oh, yes. Now it's a desire. Yes. Now it's a desire. Yes. I said now it's a desire. Yes. When you and I came into God, there are certain things God put in our spirit to desire that he did not take away from us when we got saved. But that desire didn't come from just us. It came from God because it was going to play a purpose in our life while we are saved as well. Yes. For his glory. Are you hearing me? Yes. Let's go to 1 Kings. 1 Kings, we're out, we're done, we're done. What did you hear? What did you hear? What did you hear? Because if you if you're not if God don't have your attention on what He talking about, then how can God speak to you? See, we want we want we want to drive God. That's it. That's true. God, I want to I want to see what you see, and I want to hear what you hear. I want to see what you see, and not because I want to see what you see, so I can come back and tell people. Oh, see, I didn't saw. No, see, that's that's pride. Yeah. That's true. That's pride. Yeah, no, that's I want to see what he's seeing. 
I want to hear what he's hearing because I want to be in the in, in the lineup. I want to be in alignment with him. Yes, ma'am. Are you hearing me? This ain't got yes, nothing with me being deep, me all that. That's not what I'm going to see and hear for. That's right. That's right. Ooh, wow, you something. No, that's not what I want to see and hear. I want to make sure I stay in alignment with God. That's it. He said, Matthew 6, 33 says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness and everything will be added. You going to eat, baby. So what? He's going to clothe you. So what? So, so what are you saying? He going to make sure you have a house. He going to put a roof over your head. So what? I mean, come on. So then why do you want to see? And why do you want to hear what he hear? And why do you want to see what he see? Because I can see my new car. Come on, it got to be deeper than that, baby. Yes, Come on now. He said, if you seek me, I'll give you a new car. And he said, I don't want you to owe no man, but no, no man nothing but love. Baby, that's it right there. I'll run that scripture. God, you said I have to owe no man nothing but love. That's what I'm an owner. I am not to pay nobody nothing. See. You told me not to owe no man nothing yes. but love. Yes. Are you hearing me? Oh, no, owe no man nothing. nothing. What nothing mean? They ain't going to make no payments. Oh, no man, nothing. I run that scripture. You write it out. I sure do. God, you said it to owe no man nothing but love. Yes. So I, 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 come on now. Yes. She, she said, Lord, I'm flipping in this house. Yes, me too. Don't worry, I'm flipping too. I just holding my seat right now. Yes, I'm Lord flipping Jesus. with you. Come on, First Kings. Let's go. We go. We out. We out. First Kings chapter 17. Here we go. Watch scripture. What did you hear? What did you hear? Because what you heard, you should what? You should, what you heard, you should have received. And if you received it, you understood it. Because you heard it by the inner spiritual ear. And you ain't got to worry. Ain't nobody going to take it from you. First Kings chapter 17. Watch verse 1. Go on somewhere. And Elijah the Tishbit, who was of the inhabitants of Gilead, said unto Ahab, As the Lord God of Israel liveth, before whom I stand, there shall not be dew nor rain these years, but according to my word. Because God had already spoke to, glory to God, Elijah, and told him to go to Ahab. Yes. Go to Ahab, because I'm getting ready to do some phenomenal things. Yes. So go to Ahab and make, a, and make an announcement. So I'm coming to you all and I'm making an announcement. What did you hear? Because mm -hmm. whatever it is you're hearing, you better make sure you hear it. Because you're going to get that thing. You're going to have it. Are you hearing it? Yes. It's going to be yours. Okay, go to chapter 18, verse 1. Yes, 1 Kings chapter 17, verse 1. Now go to uh, uh, chapter 18 of the same book, verse 1. And it came to pass after many days, after three years, that the word of the Lord came back to Elijah. Here it is in third year, saying, go, show yourself back unto Ahab, and I will send rain upon the earth. Okay, you made the announcement that it was not going to be no rain until I bring forth the word. Chapter 18 is God is telling him, now go back, because now I'm getting ready to send it. Are you wow. hearing this? Yes, so we understand that Elijah can do what? He can hear. Right. Are you hearing me? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, go to verse 41. Same chapter, verse 41. And Elijah said unto Ahab, Get thee up, eat and drink, for there is a sound. Mm -hmm. That's talking about hearing. Yes. The Lord said in chapter 17, verse 1, Go to Ahab and tell Ahab, According to your word, according to what you say, you get everything, get ready to shut up. There ain't going to be no rain. If there's no rain, there is no productivity. Yes. Right. And if there is no productivity, it's called a famine. Ahead, Are you hearing me? Yes. Chapter 18, <laughs> after three years, God said, all right, Elijah, now go. Because you understand what I'm saying. You understand. Glory to God, it has your attention. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So now go back to Ahab yeah. and tell him. That, watch this. I'm going to send rain. So here's Elijah. Elijah says unto Ahab, get up and drink. Eat and drink. For I hear a sound. He didn't say it was going to rain. He didn't say it was going to rain. He said, let me tell you something. I can hear. I can hear before I get there. Yes, And he said to Ahab, get up. Finish everything you're doing. Because there is a change in because yes. I hear a sound. Yes. A yes. sound. Watch what the word sound means. A vibration that travels through. Or a, vib a vibration 
that that is transmitted through liquid. Wow. Go ahead, mother. Okay, y'all y'all not saying nothing. Mm -hmm. I, I got some hearts here. Ahead, that means somebody understands what I'm yes. saying. Mm -hmm. Because Elijah, and I'm done, y'all. We done. Elijah says to Ahab that I hear a sound. Mm -hmm. And I told you, you got to hear it before you get there. Yes. yes. Sound yes. is a vibration mm -hmm. transmitted mm -hmm. through liquid, which gives the frequency. Mm -hmm. So Elijah heard rain mm -hmm. way out there. He heard it way out there. Come the frequency. Mm -hmm. He heard it way out there because liquid and the frequency yes. will bring forth waves of sounds. But before he got there, he already heard it. That's why he yes. said to Ahab, I hear a sound. Yes. Yes. He didn't say, it's going to rain. God told him to go and say, it's going to rain. That's not what he said. He said, I hear a sound. Because he was telling him, you think what you hearing is what's happening. No. What I'm hearing is what's happening. And I hear a sound. It, it, watch this. Watch this. It is, it, is, it, is, it is measured per second. A wave. It is measured per second. Which means if you and I are in God, in the realm of the spirit, and our inner ear is hearing. We hear it in a second. He heard it in a second. And he says it. Go ahead and finish doing what you're doing. But you need to do it quickly. Mm -hmm. Because I hear the sound. Right. I hear the frequency. Mm -hmm. I hear what is going on. Yeah. In the rim of the, the spirit. spirit. Not only can I see that. Yes. But I can hear that. Yeah. Woo! Ooh. Not only I can see that. But I can hear that. Ooh, he says to him, because I hear a sound of abundance of rain. God just told him to go and tell him it's going to rain. Mm -hmm. But he heard the sound of abundance. abundance. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Are you hearing this? <laughs> Verse 45, and we go on. And it came to pass in the meanwhile that the heavens was black. Now, wait a minute. He, he heard before he was there. And it says, and it came to pass in the meanwhile. Right. So we don't know how long it how took. Long, right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> did you, did y'all hear that? Yes, yeah. I We heard don't it. know how long it took because it said in the meanwhile. In the meanwhile. It could have took an hour. It could have took half the day before the rain got to him. That's it. But he already heard. He was already hearing where he was going to be there. Oh, Are y'all hearing me? Yes. yes. Are y'all hearing me? Yes. I need y'all to grasp this in the revelation of what God is saying. He said that I'm call, I'm going to cause your ears to be open. That you're supposed to hear before you get there. In the meanwhile. In the meanwhile. And it came to pass came in the, the meanwhile. meanwhile. You better come on here, mother. Go on and finish eating. Yes. Go on and finish drinking and finish your conversation. Mm -hmm. Because I'm telling you. I hear a sound. Are you hearing? Yes. And the Bible says, in the meanwhile, that the heaven was black with clouds and wind, and there was a great rain. Great rain. Mm -hmm. Are y'all hearing me? Yes, yes. ma'am. And Ahab rode and went to Jezreel. Mm -hmm. Did you hear that? Come on, yes. man. Do you understand what God is saying? Do you really understand what God is saying? Oh. Everybody is not hearing. Oh, Everybody is not hearing in the realm of the spirit. We read in scriptures, but we ain't hearing. Yep. Come on now. And just because we read the scripture, we think we have revelation. Yeah, the true. revealing of God. Another, another part of God, he reveals himself. Mm. Are you hearing yes, me? Yes. Ooh, yes. Jesus. Yes, Ooh, I'm going to make sure. I, I, listen, you can, you, you can study the word. You can study the word. Anybody pick up the Bible and read the word and just study it. Mm -hmm. And then verbatim yes. repeat it back. Yes. Right. Yes. 
So you got to be careful with that. Yes, mother. You got yes. to be careful with that. Yes. Anybody. It don't mean to have revelation and understanding, but they can read it and remember it yes, and re respond on what they read. So you got to be careful. Are you hearing it? It's more to it. That's why the Lord said, I spoke to the disciples in parables. Because it was for them to know the kingdom. Yeah. It was for them to know the mysteries. Yes, yes. Because the Lord knew somebody would pick the book up and read it. <laughs> but they reading, got eyes, but can't see. They got ears, but they can't hear. Because they cannot receive it. Because why? You got to be born again in order to do what? Enter in. And God has to do what? Open your ears. Because he shut the ears of Adam. Right. Yes. And when he shut the ears of Adam, Adam could not hear God no more. Because Adam hearkened to the wife. The lesson. Wow. Are you hearing me? Yes. So this year we better make sure our ears are open. And the only way they can be open, God has to open them. That's it, Apostle. Mark chapter 7. Because a lot of people's ears are not open. Not open. They're not open. And we're too busy trying to make people understand. Mm -hmm. That's and God has not opened up their ears. As we conclude the matter. Now what did you hear? Because if you heard it. If you heard what God said to you. Then guess what? You receive it. And you understand it. Right. That's it. And now, you're not shaking. Come you're on, not twist and in between. Come right. on, Apostle. You're not double-minded. That's right. it, Apostle. Are you hearing me? Yes, ma'am. So we went from what? If I can see it, I can I have it. it, to what are what you, you hearing? Hear and guess what? I'm in the Word. Yes. Because if you go back to Exodus.